Hey guys, Paul Michael Kane here again with another photo tip and or trick. This time we're going to be working in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Lightroom is a program I use most of the time. I find myself very rarely jumping back into Photoshop just because of the tools are getting so much more advanced inside of Lightroom. So with the brand new build of Lightroom, which is Photoshop Lightroom CC 2015, it's a mouthful. Uh, there are some brand new features that I want to show you, uh, one in particular, and it's a really cool feature. They're constantly building onto the existing uh, Lightroom platform and it's just, it gets better and better each and every time. This brand new feature, I have the perfect images to show this off and uh, let's get started. All right, so I mentioned I have the perfect images to try this new feature on and that is, I'm gonna go into the library module which we're currently in. I'm gonna collapse that panel so we can go ahead and have a look at some of these images. So. Every time I travel, I try to get a window seat so I can do these impromptu aerial shots. And we we're flying into Vegas for this particular trip. And I, I just love flying into Vegas because you get these great desert landscapes, which we don't see on the East Coast all that much. So this is the perfect scenario to try out this new filter, or not new filter, but it's a slider. It's a dehaze slider. So when we're looking at these images, it's important to remember that we may be looking at this through you know, thousands of feet of atmosphere, which contain particulate. We're looking at it through a maybe a scratchy window. We get a lot of haze in this image. Now, down here, there's a brand new dehaze slider, and it's in the effects panel, which is one of the last panels inside of Lightroom. It's at the very bottom. So what does the dehaze slider do? Well, it does exactly what it says. However, if right now it's defaulting to zero. So if you slide it to the left, it's gonna increase haze, which you could use as an artistic expression. If we double click on the word amount or the word dehaze, we reset that to the default, which is a neat little tip. You could do that with every slider inside of Lightroom. Now, what does it do when we slide it to the right? And this is where the magic happens. So we're looking at this image, we're analyzing this image, and there's not a whole lot of contrast in here. We're gonna go ahead and fix that with this dehaze slider. And this is one slider. I'm not doing anything else. There are no other edits to this. And I should, I should mention this is a shot with an iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this. Can you imagine, look at that. <laughs> and the tutorial is done because in uh, not even a quarter of an inch of a slide, we've turned the image from this to this. All that data, all that color, all that texture information was recorded with the image, but there's just a lot of haze to cut through. And just that small amount of sliding just increases the contrast. R2-D2 agreeing with me, I'm sorry, that was my phone. I'm gonna leave it in because, you know, it's R2-D2. Just that quick amount of editing inside of Lightroom just produces a much more powerful image. I'm absolutely blown away by this new feature. It's, it's my brand new favorite slider inside of Lightroom. Let's take a look at another one. Let's, let's uh, scroll down to, let's see. Let's try, let's try one of these with sky and ground. Yes, let's try this. Look at that. So now in this instance, because we have this blue up in here, it's getting a little bit too much. So we can fix that by using this filter here, the graduated filter. Okay, and what this allows us to do is pick our clarity. We draw a line here, drop that down, that there's our clarity there. We can decrease the saturation so that blue sky isn't so cartoony blue. All right, just about there like that. So we've taken it from this to this, much more realistic sky there. And then to add to that, I will drop in a vignette just to lead our eye in just a little bit more. Go from here to here. This is a before and after. So underneath your backspace key, there's that backslash key. That's a before and after, which is just really, really nice. And this is just simple, quick slides inside of Lightroom. I'm absolutely astonished with this new function. 
absolutely blown away. I get very overwhelmed with this kind of stuff, as you can hear. Let's try, let's try this one. I'm betting this one's going to be some magic right here. Just do a little quick slide. Look at that. That is unbelievable. And for this one, so our shadows up here are a little bit on the cool side. So I'm going to, with the temperature slider, slide them, warm them up again. Now we're talking. Now we got those red stands. Wow, that's awesome. That is really cool. So with the iPhone, these shadows here are now absolute black and they're not gonna we're not gonna recover those just because this is an iPhone it doesn't have the dynamic range of a say a DSLR but that's some really good detail for a uh, for an iPhone very neat stuff so incidentally a, a quick happy accident that I discovered during this trip um, of course I have my phone on airplane mode but I didn't know this when the phone is on airplane mode and you still are able to photograph you geotag all your images, which is unbelievable. This icon here that you see on the bottom means that this particular image is geotagged, and you can do that with your iPhones. So if we jump over to the map module, we can actually see where this image was taken. And it'll just populate here in two seconds, I'm hoping. There we go. Here it comes. Is that not amazing? So you can see the progression of my shots over the country. And you could see that's where these shots were taken, or that's where this shot was taken. I'm absolutely blown away by the technology, how far we've come in being able to uh, to not only edit and sort our images, but geotag our images from 30,000 feet up in the air. That's just absolutely blows my mind. Hey guys, Paul Michael Kane here again. I want to thank you for watching this video and let you know that I just set up a brand new YouTube channel for these videos. We're going to populate them in the coming days and weeks with some brand new videos and some practical Photoshop tips, some more Lightroom tips, and even some in the field kind of tips uh, with your photography, with your gear. And, um, uh, you know, hit subscribe. You can leave some comments below right down there and uh, let us know what you think. Maybe suggest something that you would like to know that uh, I might be able to help you with. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this new project of mine. Um, you guys might be familiar with me from Lightbox Photography Cards. Do check those out at lightboxphotocards.com or you can check me out personally at paulmichaelcain.com. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.